channel i hope you guys are well wherever you are welcome to another plant update so i haven't done one of these in a while it has been about four months since i last updated you guys on my fiddly fig frank and fiona are doing amazing they are branching out lovely they are looking great they are very happy i have their plant babies lined up here in front of me honestly guys i've had so much going on that i have kind of been pushing them to the back burner and i have a couple of plants that i need to still get potted up so i figured i would just give you guys an update today and then we would pot those plants up together get them in some soil because they are really struggling they are long overdue the water just isn't cutting it for them anymore and they're looking really bad they're in bad shape and it is all because i haven't properly cared for them they have a huge root ball and they have just been drying out i haven't been staying on top of it so it is all my fault but today hopefully we're going to get them into some soil and they're going to jump back I'm bringing you in here to frank we got some new growth coming in here this little branch is definitely pushing out new growth this is where i had cut it last time and this is where the two new branches came in this branch here is starting to curve and it is growing upward like that and i'm probably going to be pruning this branch here soon this one is growing just straight up, which is really good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm trying to let this one grow just a little bit longer before I start to prune it. Lots of new growth coming in. Beautiful lush green leaves. They're looking amazing. So this branch is doing really good. This is where Fiona was pruned and then she was pruned again right here. And she has given me the two branches and they both have lots of new growth. This branch is also doing good as well. It is growing kind of curved a little bit. So I'm gonna grow it out a little bit longer and then I'm gonna be pruning that one. And then we have a hidden branch in here. And then we have a little baby branch. Three branches on Frank and we have six branches on Fiona. So I am gonna start pruning Frank a little bit more. Like I said, definitely once these two branches grow some more, see you don't wanna cut it where it has this green new growth. You want it to be more wooden. And so I'm gonna let this grow out more. And then once the wooden part is about here, I will prune it here to get those split branches. And the same thing for this one as well. It is starting to curve. This branch here does already have a lot of wood. So very soon I will be able to cut it here and get those two more branches. Overall, Frank and Fiona are doing very well. They are very happy. So I did have to buy some new soil. The soil that I typically buy, I couldn't find it at the store recently. So I ordered some soil off Amazon and I also have my pots here that I got off Amazon as well. These are some of the babies. I just got them rinsed off and watered and fertilized. They are looking very happy. So now I wanna show you the plants that I have neglected and they're looking very bad. So let me grab those real quick and give you a peek and then we're gonna go ahead and get those planted up into some soil. So this is the first one you guys. It has tons of roots. This plant had tons of leaves and they've just been dropping. It even had some new growth coming in, but it has just been in water and the water just isn't cutting it anymore. So it just has one leaf left and I'm hoping that it can bounce back and recover. As you can see, it has a strong root system. I'm just very sad that I have waited this long. Then in this one, I have two cuttings here and it is completely empty. Oh my gosh. There is no water in here at all, and they have just dried out. Very sad. I'm gonna get these in some soil today. Hopefully they can bounce back. So when I potted up those other cuttings, they had a more developed root ball, and these didn't. They had a couple of roots, but it wasn't as strong as I would like it, so I let them continue to grow a little bit longer. And with that happening, they have kind of gotten pushed to the back burner. But say no more, today we are getting them potted up. So I have my pots here that I usually use, and I have some soil. So I have my three pots here. I have my screen, of course, because you know I always like to put a layer of screen in there to help with the soil seeping out. And then I have my soil here.
I got those three cuttings potted up. We're gonna go ahead and get them watered in and put them back in a sunny location. <music> Challenging parts now is going to be finding somewhere for these to go. Window space is limited. Now I have to try to find these three babies a home so they can start thriving. So these two plants here only have the one leaf, and I'm very curious to see what happens over the next couple of weeks with me fertilizing them. So I'm gonna come back and keep you guys posted and give you an update on how they do because these guys are in really bad shape. I know I shouldn't have let them go this far, but I'm hoping that they can bounce back with some TLC. I did water them in and I fertilized them with that good dirt fertilizer. Hopefully they will bounce back and I'm gonna keep you posted. So these two only have one leaf, this one, has several leaves and it even has some new growth. So I'm pretty confident that this one's gonna be just fine. And this one has these brown spots cause this was the cutting that was being burnt by my by the vent because that's when the plant was really tall and it was touching the ceiling and it was right underneath the vent. And this is the damage that it did. It's still hanging in there. So I'm gonna keep you posted on how these do. I'm very curious to see how these two do. So I got all three cuttings plant potted up. They are in soil now. They are in kind of pretty bad shape, but I am confident that with some TLC, they're gonna bounce back. So I'm definitely gonna be giving you guys another update on how these three cuttings do with some TLC in about a month or so, they should be thriving. Frank and Fiona are definitely thriving. Lots of new growth. They branched out exactly. They're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. So I will continue to keep you guys posted on that. We will be pruning them again soon so that they can branch out again I would like to get them pruned before fall very soon so probably within the next couple of weeks or so we will probably be pruning Fiona no we'll probably be pruning Frank one more time so that he can branch out again and that is really it for today's video you guys don't forget to meet me in the comment section below I really love reading you guys comments so don't forget to meet me in the comment section subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one